Hey house guests, welcome to today's BBK9 updates and spoilers. It's the last one of the season. Can you believe it? Ah! Um, so just like most last spoilers of the season, I have a huge group of house guests of the day. Whoops. Um, you know, sometimes you guys kind of slip through the cracks on Patreon and I gotta um, find you all on the last day, but I hope I got everybody. If uh, you were one of our patrons this season on Patreon and I and you didn't hear your name as house guest of the day, let me know and we will get you in one of our recap videos, but I think I got everybody. So here we go. We got a big group, so sit tight. Um, we would like to thank our house guest of the day today, Alejandro Paredes, Till Nightfall, Huckleberry Native, Eric Navarro, Adley Bruges, Bradley LeBlanc, Lemon, Carlos Ibuki, uh, Kim Bachman, Rhonda Cates, Autumn Christensen, Annie Zilius, Peggy Reed, Tyler Cole, Nolan Gear, Lori Iqbal, Nava Tagizada, uh, Rob's Classic Commercials and Retro Stuff, <laughs> Jump Keys, and Daryl 90210. Thank you all so much for the support. We could not do this without you, and we appreciate it so, so much. So thank you again. And I want to thank all of our, our patrons on Patreon this season. We really couldn't do it without you, so thank you. Um, so here we go. We got some stuff to talk about here. When we left off yesterday, the feeds were down for the nomination ceremony and the power veto competition. We know Ty was planning on putting up Tara and Kiefer, which doesn't really matter. It all comes down to the power of veto at this point. Uh, and we also saw that Tara and Brayden discussed taking out Kiefer if either one of them won the power of veto. Now, they could have been faking it during this conversation, but let's be real, Kiefer is the biggest threat to win if he makes it to the final two, and they know that. So Kiefer could be in some real trouble here unless he wins the power of veto himself. So, the feeds came back a little bit before 4 a.m., last night slash this morning, uh, because it was an individually timed competition. It sounds like it was some sort of a puzzle. And guess what? Tara smoked them. Tara won the power veto by at least 15 minutes. I think Kiefer was in second place and she beat him by like 15 minutes. Dang, she's been on quite a journey these last few weeks. Pulling out that POV win, dang. So, um, because it was so late, like, we didn't really get to see Tara or really Kiefer on the feeds last night, but we did see a conversation between Ty and Brayden chatting before bed, looking awful cozy in that HOH room. Um, but they agree, wow, Tara could actually win this whole game if she makes it to the final two. She's got a great resume to, uh, sell to the jury. So, Brayden says earlier, um, Tara was telling him that she would keep Brayden over Kiefer if it was up to her, but then after the competition, Tara was like crying because she's gonna have to make such a difficult decision. So Brayden's like, why did this change? <laughs> um, so he's like, I'm gonna be like, girl, Kiefer literally wanted to vote you out two weeks ago. Wait a second, wanted to? Brayden and Kiefer both actually did vote her out during that fake double eviction. <laughs> yeah, well, anyway, they talk about how badly Tara smoked them in that competition, and they realize she really won competitions when her butt was on the line. She was in trouble quite a few times in this game, and she always managed to pull out a win. So, they agree they're both going to be a little bit salty if she wins, um, because they feel like she doesn't need the money. She wants to, like, redo her driveway or something. I'm sure there's other things that she would do that would be, like... I don't know, things that they would consider worthy of them. Like, I don't know, whatever. Um, she's got kids, so, you know. But anyway, they think it would be ridiculous if she cuts Brayden, um, but they have no idea what she's actually going to do. No idea. Um, so Ty is planning on talking to Tara before this eviction and telling her, if you cut Kiefer, that's gonna, you're going to be able to claim the biggest move of the game taking Kiefer out. Plus, like, she was part of taking Jed out twice. Um, so he's also gonna say, like, nobody can beat Kiefer 
in the final two. So he's got to go. So Brayden is like, yeah, and I don't really see any cons for Tara keeping me. Mm, I do. <laughs> There's a big one. Brayden and Ty are going to take each other to the final two, not Tara. And maybe if Kiefer's around, he would take Tara to the final two. Maybe. And that's a big maybe. I'm not really sure who he would take to the end between Tara and Ty. I feel like if he took Tara, he'd think, okay, I'm going to have like all the Sunsetter votes, so that's good for me. But then maybe he's intimidated by her resume, so he takes Ty, split the Sunsetter votes. I don't know. But um, also, if you think about it, if it's Ty, Tara, and Kiefer in the final three, maybe Ty would take Tara. Maybe he doesn't want to go up against Kiefer in the final two. So I feel like there's more options for Tara if she keeps Kiefer around. You know, Kiefer is definitely more of a threat to win if he makes it to the final two, but I think maybe she has a better shot of making it to the final two if Kiefer's around. Because, I mean, if, if it's Brayden and Ty with her, I feel like she's got to win out the rest of those competitions to get to the end. But anyway, Ty says he's going to be annoyed if Kiefer finesses his way to the final three. He's been finessing this whole game, and he says Kiefer is that friend that you go out to eat with that never pays. You know, he's having a great time eating all the food, but he's never the one to pay. Um, hold on a second, because he won multiple HOHs this season and kept the trio safe. So I feel like he's paid. <laughs> he's paid for a few meals here. But anyway, um, this morning, Tara and Brayden were chatting in the bathroom, and it was just like chit-chat about the POV competition. They think that the eviction's gonna be on Sunday, so... You know, they're acting like they have all the time in the world. You don't! It's happening today! Things are popping off soon. So Tara's like, yeah, we're gonna have to have a chat. You know, I wanna pick your brain at some point. Do it now. So she says she's happy that she's in the final three, but it sucks that she's gonna have to choose between the two people that she cares about the most in this house. That's an awkward thing to say when there's only four people left. Sorry, Ty. But anyway, um, Tara and Brayden do end up having a game chat in the kitchen, like, a few minutes later. And Tara asks, did Kiefer say anything before bed about the vote? And Brayden says, nah, he seems pretty confident that you're going to be keeping him. I mean, that's how he's always been. He's always like, oh, yeah, for sure, like, I'm going to stay. So then Tara asks what Brayden's conversations have been like with Ty. You know, would Ty have wanted me out or Kiefer? And Brayden says, I don't 100% know, but I think he would he would have wanted Kiefer to go. So Tara says, mm, before Beth left, she basically told me that you and Kiefer both have final twos with Ty, which they do. Um, so Brayden says, oh, Beth was pushing that with me too. She was saying everyone had a final two with Kiefer and that's why he had to go. So, I mean, that's actually a pretty decent cover, right? All right. So then Tara's like, well, would you actually cut Ty at the final three? And Bryce says, absolutely. No, I don't think so. But you know what? Br Brayden's got to say what he needs to say at this point, right? He's got to make sure he's going to make it through this week. So Tara feels like if it was up to Ty, that Ty would pick Brayden over her to go to the final two. Yes, I think 100%, absolutely. So Tara says, I know you guys are close. And Brayden's like, oh, it's just personal. It's not a game. <laughs> Again, he's got to say what he's got to say, right? So then Brayden brings up that Kiefer and Ty have been working together this whole time. They were in the Sunsetters together. And Kiefer would probably take Ty to the end. That is definitely a possibility. Um, Brayden brings up how he hates that Kiefer just assumes he's going to win if he makes it to the end, this is this is really uh, a good example of knowing your audience, who you're talking to, because Tara hates when Kiefer does that. So it's good that Brayden is bringing this up. Um, so then Tara is really, she says she's struggling because Kiefer is also a parent. Um, she feels like the money would really make a big difference in his life. But at the same time, she wants to win too. She wants to walk away with some money. So she doesn't want to shoot herself in the foot by keeping Kiefer around. So they discuss how if Kiefer makes it to the final two, he's going to be taking credit for everybody's moves in front of the jury 
they don't want that to happen. Um, Brayden says, the two of us had to fight tooth and nail to drag ourselves to the end. Um, and Tara's like, well, my only hesitation here is, like, would you really cut Ty? And Brayden says, again, that he would. <laughs> um, so Tara's like, ugh, Kiefer's gonna be so mad at me if I cut him. And Brayden's like, yeah, that's because he automatically thinks that everyone takes him to the end. It does seem like he thinks that. Um, but Tara says, Kiefer told her at one point, um, that his best case scenario would be final three with Ty and her because they would both take him to the final two. Why would he say that? Why would he say that to Tara? Oh my god, that's so dumb. But also, like, I could see Ty cutting Kiefer at the final three. I don't think Ty wants to be up against him in the end. Um, but then Kiefer comes in and breaks up that conversation. So Brandon was making some good arguments as to why he should be the one to stay. Um, but it was a really casual morning for a lot of this morning. Um, the house guests were reminiscing about the season, what ifing, and just before 1 p.m., which is when the feeds were supposed to go down for the season, Kiefer chats with Ty in the OLG room, and Kiefer says, Tara hasn't really told me anything yet, but I think she's gonna keep me. I just can't see her cutting me. He said that a bunch of times during this conversation. Can't see her cutting me. But, um, Kiefer says when he talks to Tara, he's going to tell her Brayden is definitely going to take Ty to the final two, so he would be the better option to keep. Um, so then they were talking about final three scenarios, and Kiefer says any of us would be dumb to take Tara to the final two because her story is almost unmatched now. The way, you know, she was part of that trapdoor plan. Um, she saved herself from eviction like, she was literally evicted and then came back, but also she's been on the block before as the target, and she won the power veto. Um, she's got a lot going for her at this point. And Kiefer says it's his dream to be next to Ty on finale night, and Ty says same. I don't know if either of them are legit about that, but, yeah, they're just having their conversation here. A few minutes later, the feeds go down, like, after their conversation wraps up, and I was like, is that it? Because usually it ends with Arissa being like, what up? It's eviction time. So there was a little bit of uncertainty there, but then the feeds came back a few minutes later with Tara and Kiefer chatting in the OLG room. We're going into extra innings, guys. So Tara is like, I don't know if you would choose Ty over me to go to the final two. And Kiefer says, Ty snaked me. I don't want to be at the end with him. Um, the plan was for me and you and Brayden to be in the final three together. Kiefer had all sorts of final three configurations, but that was one of them. It was one of the possibilities. So he says, I stick to my plans. I mean, it's not super relevant here because um, it's either Kiefer or Brayden going, but what he's saying is, Ty was never a part of that plan, so you don't have to worry about me taking him to the end if you're around. So, Tara says, uh, Beth told me that you and Brayden both have final twos with Ty. Kiefer denies it. Come on. He says, I've only ever really talked about final two with you. So then, Tara's like, alright, well, I also heard from Beth and Jed that you're for the boys, meaning he wouldn't want a woman a woman to win. He would want to go to the end with a guy. And Kiefer says, no, that pisses me off. I don't know how that rumor started. He says that is not true at all. Um, and then Tara says she's struggling because Brayden and Kiefer both voted her out during that fake double. And it's tough, though, because that they did that because that's what Ty wanted to happen. So it makes her think that they both have something with Ty. Like, why wouldn't they just go against that, you know? Um, so Kiefer's like, well, Ty and Brayden would definitely take each other to the final two, so I'm your best option to get to the end. But on the flip side, if you're looking to make a big move here, it's me. Oh my god. So then he says, my game is in your hands. I would be forever grateful if you take me to the final three. Um, but it's up to you. So Tara asks... If I kept you and you won HOH, would you cut Ty? And Kiefer says, 
ridiculousness. He has a really strange answer for this. He says, honestly, if I was up against you in the final two, I think I would have three votes from the Sunsetters, and then I would just need one more to win. What the F are you doing? Oh my god. Um, so Kiefer says, I'd be more likely to take you to the end than Brayden would be. Um, but then he's like, I feel effed up. Like, I don't, I know this is a tough decision, but for me, if I were to win the POV, like, I don't think this would have been tough. Um, and he says, I'll respect you if you do cut me. And Tara says, uh, by the way, this conversation is not going well. So then Tara says, I'm torn here. Um, I don't know that I can believe that you would take me to the final two over Ty. And Kiefer's like, will you believe Brayden would? And she's like, no, not really. <laughs> um, and Kiefer says, I'm telling you, I would take you to the end. He says, this game is different for us. We have families. So then, Kiefer, throughout this conversation, Kiefer repeats multiple times that he would have the votes to beat Tara in the final two. And I guess that's his way of saying that he would bring her to the final two. But that's like a terrible pitch. That's, that's awful. Um, and he also was saying, honestly, part of me hopes that you just cut me. Then I'll be out of here and I wouldn't have to make these tough decisions. Just cut me loose and my madness. <sighs> What the F is going on here? This is like the worst pitch ever. <laughs> so again, um, Kiefer is saying he doesn't want to be next to Ty in the end because Ty sneaked him and he just doesn't want to be up against somebody who wasn't loyal to him. So a few minutes later, Arissa ends the madness. Arissa calls the house guests to the living room. Here we go. And uh, Brayden says, not this. It is this. Arissa says, hello, everyone. If you think I'm here to make another major announcement, you're right. You knew this day was coming. The final four is about to become the final three. Welcome to a special eviction. <laughs> so, of course, they're all like, what? Because they thought the eviction was going to be tomorrow. Um, but then the feeds went down for the season. That's it. Um, so, yeah, they're going to be doing the eviction today. I honestly don't know what Tara's going to do at this point. Um... I don't think one decision is necessarily way better or worse than the other because I really feel like she's probably going to have to win her way to the final two, right? So I almost feel like she'd have a better chance with Kiefer in the mix because Kiefer has not been performing well in competitions as of late. Um, I don't know. I, I just think, I think her chance is better with Kiefer there. Because then again, also, if Ty wins final HOH, maybe he takes Tara over Kiefer. And there's still that chance that maybe Kiefer takes Tara over Ty. So I honestly think the better move would be to keep Kiefer and get rid of Brayden, but I don't know what she's going to do. We'll see. Um, well, we won't see until Monday, but <laughs> uh, after that eviction is done, the house guests will start competing in the three-part final HOH competition. Usually the first part is some sort of endurance or physical competition. The second part usually has a puzzle, um, maybe a physical element as well. And then the third part is usually just straight up questions live on, well not live, but Canada live on finale night. Um, but we won't know any of the results for these competitions until finale night. We've, we've still got Three episodes left to go, Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday, the finale. Um, but now, the feeds are done. Feeds are all done for the season. So I want to thank you guys all so much for watching the live feeds with us. Um, thanks to Mom for editing and posting the videos. Thank you to all of our patrons on Patreon. We really could not do this without your support. Everybody who likes, comments, and shares the videos, thank you so much. And, um... Yeah, I feel like this has been a great season. I mean, we still got to see how this all plays out, but the live feeds, even though there were a lot of outages, I still had a great time watching. <laughs> um, the gameplay this season was sloppy, and that's what made it so much fun to watch. Um, but again, thank you all so much, and we'll see you for those last few episodes. So until next time, much love.